So soups are a really great staple to have um, for your teens and they are also one of the quickest things that you can do. Tomato soup is a big favourite in lots of households and in lots of households um, most people have tin soup. Um, and in the tin soups then there are lots of additives. Lots of them have got lots of sugar, lots of them have got salt and other things that you might not want in there. So if you can make this from scratch, Tomato soup will become a really big stable, it, it, a staple in your house. Hi, I'm Kerry Davis Munro, single mum of three teenagers, and I have over 20 years' experience in the field of well being, physical education, food, and nutrition. So this is everything you need for a really standard tomato soup. Hopefully you've got most of this at home. So I started with a really large red onion and a couple of cloves of garlic. Um, and a dash of olive oil and then I did my sofrito and then to that I added my thickener so I would either add some red lentils um, probably two to three tablespoons of red lentils um, or today I'm using um, split peas or you can use a potato so you can thinly slice a potato and you can add that to your onion and garlic in the beginning and that will give you a nice thickness to your to your soup then I add um, my two tins of tomatoes. Sometimes I add a little bit of passata and I might add a little bit of passata at the end, depending on the consistency. You might really love thin soups in your house. You might like them super thick, that's down to you. And you add as much water and stock as you like and it's down to you to adapt. In terms of flavorings, I've added some lovely organic mixed herbs, but I'm mainly gonna turn it into a tomato and basil soup today. So I've got a healthy handful of fresh basil. Um, and then some of my staples in the cupboard that um, are fantastic to have for everything. Tamari, I've got a um, vegetarian version of Worcester sauce, um, some Tabasco, um, and then I may well throw in a little bit of chili too. And then to make the stock, I've got some Swiss um, bouillon, and this is organic as well. So Jed, if you um, can come here, first of all what I've done is I've just made a sofrito with one large red onion and three cloves of garlic. Um, and I have put that in a little bit of um, olive oil. So that's my sofrito and I'm just going to put that on the heat over here on I guess a medium to low heat. So I just want that to to cook but I don't want it to stick and I don't want any of it to brown. So I'm just going to keep that on a low heat and I'm just going to keep stirring just in a little bit of oil. And the oil that I use is either extra virgin oil or I use um, a little bit of rapeseed oil or I use um, some avocado oil, but lots of nut oils are lovely as well. So Jed, if you can just keep that moving for me. In our, in our house, Jed is uh, my youngest, but he's the one that tends to cook with me the most. So we do lots of evenings where we team cook and Jed will do some chopping um, or some grating um, and help me with what I'm doing and it also means that I get a chance to hear about what's gone on in his day um, and what's been happening so thanks Pauls so keep stirring for me all right just turn that up just a little bit yeah and just keep mixing it so the garlic will, will tend to burn quicker than the onions. So it's just a case of stirring it until the onions and the garlic both become translucent. And at that point, um, what I usually do is I use red lentils and I've run out of red lentils today. I don't think they came in my shop when I ordered them. So I want something that's going to thicken and give me that same sort of lovely, um, lovely texture. So another um, pulse that I don't have to soak and that goes really nicely in this um, are split peas. So I've had them soaking this morning, but that's only just because I just want to get rid of that extra um, coating that they sometimes have. But you actually can use these without too many problems. Um, if you uh, don't soak a lot of uh, lentils and pulses, then it will become hugely gassy for you and you can get pain when you're having your digestion uh, or when your digestion is um, is trying to work. So I'm going to just rinse those. Um, I also use Puy lentils, um, which are, are, are green, but the red lentils are lovely. They cook very, very quickly and they're just a wonderful way to thicken soups and to thicken stews. I mean, the other thing that I sometimes do is um, add a potato. So I will um, very, very finely I'll peel and then very, very finely slice a potato and that's another way of thickening um, all of your soups. So that's looking good. All right, Jed, I'm going to add in 
my split peas. Uh, you should stop doing this when the onion and the garlic becomes clear. Yeah, they're, they're translucent. So he's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's what you want them to look like. And Jed knows that from doing it lots of different times. And then we're going to start and we're going to add our, um, our stock, etc. So I'm going to... Can I grab a jug, Jed? Um, oh, I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab a jug and I'm just going to get some boiling water. I'm going to put a pint in so far of boiling water. Okay, and to my pint of boiling water. So this is, um, this is stock. I love using organic um, Swiss bouillon. Um, and this is, this is totally delicious. It's got some real depth of flavour. And the reason I love this is because it's not loaded with yeast. Um, which lots of stocks are. So this says um, put four level teaspoons per litre. Um, I'm actually going to start and I'm going to just put two heaps of teaspoons in here and see how I get on with that. So that's my pint and it's going to go into what Jed's doing here. Great, so that's my pint of stock. I might add a little bit more because that's going to thicken up a lot. And at this point I'm going to add a tin of tomatoes. Putting in my second tin of organic chopped tomatoes, and this is purely just a tin of tomatoes. There are no additives. Now, sometimes when I've got a huge amount of time, I will buy really big beef tomatoes and I'll blanch them quickly in boiling water and then peel them and I'll put the whole tomato in. But at the moment, life is just too busy for that. And I know a lot of you are just too busy for that. So two tins of tomatoes go straight in. Um, they're organic. You know, they're a wonderful way of doing really um, quick, healthy food because they're wonderful in so many different sources. And I'm just going to add some of the water from that. Okay, when it's my cans out, so I can recycle them. A tablespoon of tamari. Good shake of Worcester sauce. Then I've got a dash of Tabasco, which is just going to give it a little bit of a kick. I'm going to put in some dried organic herbs and that's just a sprinkle because in a minute I'm going to put some fresh basil in as well but I like those and that's going to thicken absorb all those lovely flavors um, because I've used split peas today instead of lentils then they're going to take slightly longer to cook because I don't want to blend them um, too early because then they will be quite hard to digest so I'm going to leave that um, approximately 10 to 15 minutes whereas usually I would throw it in and it would be done in five but today because I've had to use split peas it's going to take a little bit longer and then we're going to blend that up with a hand blender. I've tested the, um, the split peas and they are cooked so I'm just blending my soup and depending on how smooth you want your soup you could stop or you can keep going. So if you want it to be a really, really smooth consistency for your family and your teenagers, then keep going. If you like it to have um, a bittier texture, then just give it a quick blend and leave it at that. This is all completely down to you, your tastes, your family and what's right for them. One thing that I want to do is add my basil. Okay, now we use a lot of fresh basil. It's got a relatively strong flavour, but it goes wonderfully well with tomato. So I would probably throw this in and not blend it. So I'm going to give that a little mix round. And then I also like to serve it before that wonderful green colour goes. Check whether you want to add something. Check whether you want to add some more chilli. Check whether you want to add some more black pepper. Um, season to taste um, and then serve it. Get it out there. And this is another one again. Keep this in the fridge. Make a huge batch, have it in the fridge and then you've got it ready for the week.